here things are a bit less controllable but also more exciting and stimulating for all your senses and that feels actually more like you're actually living than just going through your daily routines. Today we're going to do something very different, a everyday adventure, something where you don't have to travel far and still get an exciting and adventurous day out of it. And in that regard, we are going to spend one night at the beach at minus four degrees. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't say cool. I thought about pitching the tent right here, the last bit of the even ground before it goes down quite steep to the beach. So before that, I'm just making sure to clean the area from anything that could interrupt my sleep or damage the tent. Yeah, I have this uh, shovel with a knife on the side. That should be perfect for the job. The ground is pretty much on point now, I hope. But before we're actually going to pitch this tent, I'm going to get a few stones from the beach, just in case I cannot get the pins into the ground and it's a bit windy and things are starting to fly away. Then it's nice to have something heavy ready. Yuki is still busy. Uh, it's probably taking him a few hours on that bone. I'm also getting hungry. Yeah.
I also found this one here. It's perfect bench height. And if I can somehow get it up there, then that could be a really nice option to sit in front of a fire later. But uh, it is rather bulky and heavy. So let's see how much strength I have left later. But for now, the tent. It stands, not too much wind. Pretty much good to go if we put the cover on and we have some time for the fun stuff. Making a fire, getting the bench maybe up from the beach and then actually enjoying the day. are nearly done uh, it's just one pin on the back side of the tent left if I find it but uh, it got a bit windy in the last minutes like rather windy and I'm not sure how much this tent can hold up to so for now I'm just going to put my backpack in there and then we're going to the beach again before the tide comes to get some more stones that I can put on all four corners to weigh it down a little the weather is supposed to change and that often comes with quite a bit of wind at the seaside but it could also be just the change of the tides and we never know and we know all right let's get the backpack in there Yeah, it's okay. I also forgot to put in this one. Uh, you see, it has been a while since I've been out with the tent. Smart to do that now. That one does it as well. Bench 
with ocean view. Could be worse. Pretty nice view from here. You have the mountains just lit up by the last bit of sun. And when you look very straight, you should actually see the open ocean. It's a bit far down. Yuki, Papa. So far. I, yeah. So far, everything has been quite. Good, I would say. It's not too cold in the tent. He has found his corner. And I still have the one piece on, but uh, I'm also quite warm. It's 5.45 right now, meaning it's dark since two hours. And I think the earliest I'm ready to sleep is at eight. So for now, I think I'm going to read a little and then go up once more to the house to get Yuki a blanket. I don't think it's too comfortable to be on that plastic. So it's pretty loud when you move around. So I don't want him to be annoyed in the night. But yeah. Now the setup are two of these Bergen's insulation mats. And then I do have a sleeping bag that is supposed to be sufficient until I think minus 17 degrees. I'm not trusting that really, but at least at minus seven and today it's supposed to be minus seven in the night. So good uh, prognosis for the night. Yeah. Maybe when I'm up at the house, I'm also going to get a bit more drinking water so that I'm able to make a needle tea tomorrow morning and dependent on how much I'm drinking in the night, this might not be enough or just not be enough. It looks like the fire is also fading 
one of the first signs that the day is soon over. Uh, I brought some more logs for tomorrow morning, but I guess for today I'll just leave it as it is. Mm. Mm. That is some cold water. Maybe I should put that closer to the fire. Yeah, I feel like these nights are when you're reconnecting a bit to the real world instead of just being in your little box and having your routines. Here things are actually changing with the weather, with the seasons and I think that's a very beautiful thing to be connected to not sounding like a full-blown hippie hopefully but I think we or our generation especially people from other countries than Norway which is Norway is a bit of an exemption in terms of outdoor usage are very far away from knowing how it is to be outside and be close to nature and as I said the real world. This guy is often reminding me about how beautiful it is just to be outside and to move. And I guess that's one reason to get a dog. found our positions now especially that guy that's taking like half of my space well at least he's keeping me warm it is I think around 8 30 and I'm done reading now it's been a while but like at one point you're just done with it and otherwise there's not too much to do uh, so we're going to sleep and rest and I'll see you tomorrow after probably a lot of hours of sleep let's say from 8 to 8 would be <laughs> a good start I think. Yeah. Do you want to go chase some deers? Oh, you stay, 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 stay.
fingers are so cold that this is really tough. Oh, the warmth of the matches on your fingers. Trying to use a bit of the leftovers from yesterday to get this going. Let's see how that works. The gloves are slowly defrosting, which is uh, quite nice. And even my shoes get a bit of warmth, so I think that was a good way to start the new day. Yeah, that was about how cold it was yesterday in the tent. The sleeping bag was doing good. Just my feet were very cold. Should have brought some more wool socks to put on but you learn for the next time now i still made it to sleep from 8 to or 8 30 to 9 o'clock which is quite impressive i would say feeling quite rested but uh, just everything is cold and frozen I think for now I'm going in shortly to get warm feet and then when I come back out I'm making uh, tea down here and enjoy a bit of the rest of the weather. Supposedly it's changing tomorrow towards rain and warmer temperatures so all this will be gone and yeah I enjoy real winter and not this kind of grey whatever thing. Hey you. Thank you. 